Hey, what's going on? It's Justine from The Whole Brain Group, and I am just going to show you how you can load videos into your blogs and other HubSpot pages, and show you a little bit more of what the tool allows you to do with those videos. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of a blog that is about service law agreements. So what this blog has is some awesome text and content, but I really want to insert a video that allows my coworkers, Donna and Greg, to explain what the Essence Service Law Agreement is and give a little bit more context. So I have a space that I want to insert this video, and you have your toolbar up here. And once you've turned on the HubSpot video features inside of your file manager, this little icon will come up, and it's similar to your insert image function, but it's just insert video. Click that. And as you can see, we have this tool that pops out to insert videos. We have a quite a few videos already loaded here, and these are all loaded through our file manager. You can also upload videos directly here, but the video that I want to do is already loaded in. So I'm just gonna select, and then it's dropped into the blog. So you can just play it directly from the camera, or you can do a few other things to it. You have this little pop-up that it says you can edit, and you can insert a call to action or even a form. So a call to action, you can have choose a display time, whether it be before the video starts or even after. And that is the same for a form. In this blog, we have this, we're offering this awesome SLA template. And so after the video finishes, that Donna and Greg explaining what a service law agreement is, then I want there to be a CTA for them to actually download the template. So I can create a CTA, but I've already created one. So I'm just going to select this one. And then I am going to press insert. Now it's, I've selected that after the video finishes, I want the CTA to come up. So when you play it again. Hey guys, I'm Greg LeFaver. I'm Donna Campbell. I'm going to scroll We're here to talk to you today. You know, I love them. Call it. And at the end of the video, the CTA pops up and the user can click through to the landing page, get their template, or they can even skip, rewatch the video again. Same goes for the form. You can create the form. I have a little test form here to show you how it works. Insert the video. I'm going to have this one in before the video because I want the user to fit, submit their information before they watch the video. So there you go. And now the user has to submit their information before they head on over to the There you go. And you can also do a couple other things, edit tools, such as the file name. You could change the thumbnail and title, add a description. What also is a major point is that meta tags. What you can do is you can insert a few meta tags that would be attributed to your video and that is hosted within the HubSpot page, which means that Google and other search functions can read those meta tags and it might make the page higher ranking. Well, I'm actually gonna hop over to a landing page that I've already created. And this landing page, instead of a lot of text, we've actually used a video. So you can see, and here I am, and you know, I'm starting to talk about what this content offer is. What is awesome about using video and landing pages is that you can maybe communicate some more complex information about a content offer rather through text. The user has a little bit more information before they fill out and submit the form. All right, one more thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually the metrics for these videos. Once you've loaded a video into a HubSpot page, like a blog or landing page, this one is the landing page I just showed you, you can get all of your information on that video inside here. So actually you can look at video views. So through November to December, we had quite a few views on this video. And then we can also look at video retention. And this shows you how many users dropped off at what point in the video. So this is a great tool for determining how successful your videos are. If there's a ton of people that are dropping off at a video at one point, let's say 10 seconds in, everybody's just kind of like, eh, no thank you. Then maybe you need to rework your video, edit it a little differently, or maybe put your information in a different order inside your video. So that was a little quick tutorial on how you can insert CTAs, videos, and forms inside of your blogs or landing pages tools inside your HubSpot account. I really hope that you guys take advantage of these tools and use them to optimize your content even more. I'm out.